Hi guys, thank you for watching Adopedia World videos. In this session, we will talk about sales quotation within SAP Business One. What is a sales quotation? Let us understand by definition. A sales quotation is a document that helps a prospective buyer to see what are the costs offering from the seller for the intended items or the services. It may happen that many businesses provide services that cannot have an upfront price as the cost involved can vary. How does the sales quotation has its implication within SAP Business One? The sales quotation can act as an offer or proposal that you can either send to a customer or to a lead. Generally leads will receive a sales quotation. The sales quotation is not a legally binding document in SAP Business One as is did not have any JE value that is posted. What are the purposes of the sales quotation? It is mainly for information purpose like the items that the customer wants, what are the costs that you want to sell, what are the delivery dates that you are committing and what are the quantities that the customer is asking for. It can be called as the stepping stone for any sales cycle. There are mainly three steps for sales quotation where you request a quote, you negotiate on the terms of the business and then both the parties agree upon the term. Quotations are generally the part of the pre-sales activities. For example, a prospect may inquire if you have a certain product in the warehouse or not. What is the cost that is involved? What are the lead times that are involved for the delivery? And ultimately, it is a request for your company to provide a sales quotation to the prospect. So, quotations are generally the part of your pre-sales activities where the customer may request a quote for a certain item. Second step would be you negotiate on the terms of the business like the pricing, quantities or dates. And if both the party feel that they are in a win-win situation, then they can go forward for this sales quotation. Sales quotation is found in sales AR module as sales quotation. Few fields of the sales quotation are highlighted here where you have customer code, you have line item codes and description etc. The sales quotation is a form that is similar in look to a sales order. The sales quotation has four tabs. Let us see how to break down a sales quotation. The first is the content tabs where you select the service or the item for the sales quotation and enter information that you think would be best to serve the prospects need. Second is the logistic tab where you enter the shipping and the billing details of the prospect or the customer. Third is the accounting tab. This tab is used to put the information for financial aspects of the sales quotation. And the fourth tab is a tab where you can put some extra information in the form of document like PDF or image. Let us understand about the navigation within the sales quotation. You can navigate to the first, previous, next or the last record. When you press Ctrl F, you can convert the document into a fine mode and if you know the document number, you can just mention here and press enter that will open the particular document. SAP Business One has many functions to make your daily use easier and more convenient. One easy way is to scroll through the documents that is to use the arrows on the SAP Business One. This functionality stands true for other documents as well. What are the right click options over my sales quotation? I have highlighted a few important options where you have a calculator where you can know what are the raw details. You can generate a new activity. You can understand what is your gross profit and other things as well. Let us see a few important information that you can get on right click. Let us start with gross profit. When you right click over the sales quotation form and you go on the gross profit, you get this 
information or you can do simply go over this icon here and press it will open the same window SAP Business One lets you calculate the gross profit for sales document according to the method that you have defined in the application and the configuration that you have given within it the gross profit for each document row is calculated and then totaled for the entire document the gross profit can be calculated for documents of item type and the documents of service type with an ease when you choose the gross profit this is the window that opens and you can see that I have my information like item number what was the base price what was the total price what is the sales price and what are my gross profit here another important option is available to promise the available to promise or the inventory status report so the inventory status window displays a list of items and their current inventory status based on the defined selection criteria the number of items as defined in the item master data window is what determines this thing the item description is the description of the item as defined in the item master data in stock is the current stock level for the item this is the quantity physically that is present in the warehouse committed quantity is the quantity of an item that is reserved from the inventory for the following document types that can be sales order production orders or warehouse transfers available is the quantity of an item that will be available when the committed stock is issued from the warehouse and the order stock is received by the warehouse so the calculation can be like this that the available quantity is equal to in stock plus ordered minus committed let us see about the printing and exporting a sales quotation here I have highlighted few options where you can take a print preview you can actually print you can mail, you can access the information, you can fax it, you can export to Excel, you can export to Word, or you can export a PDF. When a sales quotation is open, and when you press print preview, if you want to just see the preview of the print, that is okay. But if you want to export, you have here the options available you have the crystal report PDF you have CSV you have Microsoft Excel and other things as well so you can choose your option to export the report and you can thereby use it to send to the customer or use it internally for reviewing purpose thank you